wood chip in the poultry pen today. Keep my bird's feet clean over the winter months.
but before I tip another one in here, this is the reason we're doing it. It's starting to get wet now, winter's coming, and poultry pens, as anybody who keeps poultry knows, get crappy in the winter. And it's starting to come now. There is a membrane under here, which I was going to lift up, but you know what? I'm just going to bury this, it's only about a half inch of much, in this. Or much. We produce tons and tons and tons of this every year with a tree company. And for poultry pens, brilliant, especially for chickens, they love this stuff because, well, you probably won't be able to see it, but there's plenty of wildlife in here. Come here, where are you going? So I can see it crawling with wood lice. So, au naturel chicken food, they love it. So if I had a lot more chickens, which I don't, I wouldn't have to level this. They'd basically level it for me and feed themselves while they're at it. But this is the goose pen. So, and only a couple of turkeys live here as well, so I'll have to level this. So, shovel in later. Right, let's get some more in here. Let me put it on the tilt. This used to be an Avery. We used to have a African short eared owl, African short eared owl called Peanut. Uh, we rescued him from a falconer who we couldn't show him because every time he was put in a box of travel, he'd flap about and lose too many feathers. So we kept him in here for three years until he escaped. He used to tease our dogs. He escaped but never left. He stayed around somewhere. I got some old photographs or um, Maybe a bit of video of him, but he was great fun just to keep people's heads down and tease my dogs outside. We've got a couple of runner ducks that live in here and they're starting to make a mess. So hopefully this will help. We sell quite a lot of wood chip for poultry pens like this. Literally, keeps the birds clean and the eggs. You've got a light on at night. Here, my dog chasing sparrows somewhere. Is there a rat in there? Where is he? Where's that rat? Oh, 
Biscuit likes rats. Rats don't like biscuit though. So I've got my three pronged fork that the three guys left me, this was theirs, they broke it, they swapped it for my new one, and now they've lost my new one. Buggered. Most definitely not my favourite part of this job. What do you reckon? Two times speed and a four. Chicken eat your right. eye. <coughs> Four. I think I have to take some clothes off. Don't get too excited, ladies. My wife assures me there's nothing to write home about. Privacy. That's a bit cooler. I'm going to speed this up again. This is too slow. I want to get this job done. <sighs> oh, for a four pronged fork. <laughs> Shut When it's not pitting down rain, and this isn't an excuse to stop shoveling, 
my geese tend to sleep in this corner, so I'm going to leave four to six inch layer there, keep them all off the wet grain. So during the winter months, again, keeps them cozy. If it gets really, really wet and horrible, they get under sh shelter in there or in this house behind you. And it's a good reason not to shovel much more of that pile. They'll be happy on there. At least it's really well better be. That was only a two minute break. Two years since I did this last, so it's done two winters and one summer. I'll show you what's left of the last lot. <coughs> I grant you it's been dry for quite a while, but there's still remnants of the last time I did it, and it keeps them clean. <coughs> Excuse me smoking all those years ago I gave up ages ago um, so this is definitely worth doing if you keep poultry and you've got somewhere you keep them in the winter months it's a bit mucky and you've got a local tree surgery company nearby just look in your local well, it's not yellow pages now is it showing me age go online find your local tree surgeons uh, a lot of them will happily give it away I don't but um you can find this and uh, basically you want about a bag per square meter so every one of those bucket falls and oskids here is just over a cubic meter so it's just over a cube and each of these bucket falls that one ain't quite so generous this is a big old pen so uh and this little stream is just starting to get some water back in here this dried up completely this summer which i've seen half a dozen times it usually stays moist in the bottom but this year it's bone dry but this is a nice little poultry pen for my birds basically they're not really shut in at night because they're inside an enclosed area it's all fenced off all the way with a six foot fence and uh, Mr Fox doesn't get in very often and if he does I introduce him to the 22250 <coughs> excuse me coughing um, so yeah this is our poultry pen The old crab apple tree, I think has just about had it now. I can remember climbing that when I was a little boy. But this uh, this lagoon area will be about, I don't know, a foot deep in the winter months. It's about three or four inches now. So geese love it. Also means because they're not shut in and they can see all the way around if Mr. Fox is around or even a bit of two-legged vermin they let me know my bedroom window is just up there so uh, good guard dogs geese I think I'm about to pick up some quince as well it appears in the last lot of wind our quince trees have dropped their load anybody make quince jelly nice with a bit of lamb right anyway back to shoveling I'm gonna put you on there out oh, there What's that? The guy you tour was just another excuse to have a break? Yeah. Yeah. Of course not. I'm going for hours. Just a 
keep my feet clean as well. You can very nearly shut the doors in your slippers. Don't tell my wife that. No, I never worked for the council. That's not true either, I did. So there you go. One poultry pen ready for the winter. Um, don't use green wood chip, um, especially if you've got trees around. Such nice that soil, and there's pretty much nothing in it for the birds. This, when my chickens find this later on, they're going to go nuts because they probably won't even leave the pen. They'll happily stay in here and just scratch about finding wood lice. Adjusting. So yeah, so if you get a mucky put, uh, poultry pen in the winter, get yourself some wood chip. Decent layer lasts a couple of years, depending on how many poultry you've got. It keeps them clean. If you're producing eggs in the winter months, because um, uh, you've got lights on in the pen and they're running out in the daytime, it doesn't just keep the bird clean, it keeps the eggs clean. You haven't got to wash the eggs. I don't know what the rules are like wherever you are, but in this country, washing eggs really, truly, they shouldn't get dirty. Um, so yeah, clean birds, clean eggs, food source for a while, um, and stops them uh, getting frosted as well. No frost on the feet. So there you go. I'm going to go edge cutting, it's easier.